Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for today's video because we've got more American treats. Yeah, we've got this really awesome box from longtime supporter yep. of the channel, Brookwood, who sent us many a box over she the years. She has. And we were not expecting this box. We thought this was going to be one of Leslie's box because she was sending us three boxes. Yeah. And then we opened it and we're like, hold on, this is Brookwood. Yeah. We weren't expecting this. So Brooke, thank you so much for this lovely surprise. Although we do have one of Leslie's items in here. Yeah, that didn't quite fit in <laughs> the other Quite fit in the other ones, yeah. Brooke got our address because obviously she sent us a box a long time ago yeah. and she's freely used it whenever she yeah, likes. Yeah, I know. So, so thank you, Brooke. Thank it was you. a lovely surprise. We will be sending Brooke a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, we surely will. We'll start with the card. Beautiful card. Looks like the stained um, glass window card. Church me and Matt got married in. Yeah, very nice. And then it's like woo. I've got deja vu. I know. Look at these awesome stickers. Summer. This is my favorite. It's yeah. like the old Instagram app logo. Yeah. And I love this basketball. Basketball playing astronaut. Yeah, how awesome is that? Yeah. Oh, and this is the sunglasses on my leg. Brooke has said, hello, Penny. Ah. Penny's first. Penny's first up. <laughs> Kate and Alex. It's been a while, so I had to send you stuff I'm trying not to eat. Hopefully you enjoy it. There is a bone slash cookie for Benny. Nora likes them, but she has to bury it all over the house before she eats them. This is a mix of stuff I like and stuff that is new. Did you say Penny or Benny? <laughs> Penny, did I say? Sorry, did I say Benny? For Penny. Thank you so much, Brooke, you, Brooke. for this wonderful box. We'll stick one of these on the pelican case. Yeah. Shall we start with Leslie's Doritos? Yeah, let's do it. Leslie said these are better than she thought. Sweet and tangy barbecue. Have I'm we... not sure if we've had sweet and, bar I and know. tangy barbecue. Because like when I saw these come through, I was like, oh, I think we've had those. I don't think I we don't have. Think we the have. Smell they smell good. Mmm. That's a great flavour. Horn chips are funny because like wow. whatever the flavour. By the time you finish munching, you get that corn flavour, don't yeah. you? These might actually be some of my favourite Doritos. Mm. They've got a bit of a kick afterwards. I think it's more just think? pang. Look, they now do spicy nacho and spicy sweet chilli. But I like Doritos chilli heatwave, especially in a sour cream and chive dip. Oh yeah. These will be lovely in that dip. All right, Leslie, I really enjoy those. Yeah, great. Yeah, really good. Next up, we've got chocolate peanut butter pie. I'm looking at this and it feels Familiar, but I don't know. Almost if it as is. if we've had an Oreo before. No, I mean, don't you think this flavour seems familiar? I feel no, like this. we've had this before. I feel like we have. But it's I'm been never gonna, a while. I'm never going to say no to an Oreo. And peanut butter chocolate pie. That should be their tagline. I'd never say no I'd to an Oreo. I'd never say no to an Oreo. So we'll give it a go and see if we say the same thing as last yeah. time. Cheers. Cheers. Golden. Is it? It's Claire and Erin who are our continuity mm. team, aren't they? Check if With we. With Australia, though. Yeah. Oh, they could expand their uh, reach. There's a gram flavoured cookie, peanut butter and chocolate flavoured cream. Mm. I definitely think we've had them. Yeah. I don't know what I said last time, but the peanut butter is coming through a lot more this time and it's very earthy. Well, you like peanut butter now. You might not have liked yeah. peanut butter. I think that goes really well with the gram because mm -hmm. that's a bit more like oaty flavour, isn't it? I think the peanut butter cream's lovely. They're not very sweet. They're not overly sweet, no. actually, which is quite nice. They're not my favourite Oreo, but like for an Oreo lover who doesn't want something too sweet, that's actually really good because it's kind of mm. just mellow. I really like that. It's been so long since I've had an Oreo. Yeah. What would you give that then out of 10? I give it a nine out of 10. It's really great. I'd probably give it like seven and a half. Not like my favorite, but I enjoyed the taste. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I like that it was a golden, well, technically golden, but it's a gram flavor. Can I pick next? Yes, Even do. though I picked that. <laughs> I saw these when we were last in America on our trip. And you didn't get any. You know, like you. but these look delicious, don't they? Yeah. And I think these would be good for anyone who doesn't like candy corn because these actually aren't candy corn flavoured. They're vanilla, vanilla candy corn shaped gummy yeah. candies. So this would be quite good. I think I might like these more. Yeah. Hooray for candy. Fruity, chewy, sweet and sour. We've got them all. When you've got a sweet craving, reach for favourite day candy. Great for car rides, movie snacks or a just because treat. Yeah. So this is Target's own brand. Yeah. We love favourite day. It's always quite fun, isn't it? <gasps> it kind of smells great. like peach. peach. Yeah. Or vanilla. Look at that. They look great, don't they? They look amazing. I hope the bite on them is good. It is. Yeah. Definitely tastes like peach. Yeah. What are they on? I think the top bit's vanilla. Yeah, but that's the smallest part. Mm. What would you call these vanilla? Wouldn't you be better saying they're peach, peach. candy corn? Or peach and vanilla. Mmm. The texture's amazing. Well, vanilla 
candy corn shaped peach gummy candies. Mm. They're so good. Mm. The favourite day peach rings are really nice. I think Mm. if you had them next to each other, you would think they're a lot more peach than these. So it's definitely peach in there. There you go, yeah. Mm. Guaranteed to be a favourite or your money back. They're very good. Should we stick on to sweets? Yeah, let's stick on to sweets. So we've got two jello. Paula and Al had sent us a jello, the blue, it was like the blue raspberry. chocolate puddings. Yes. They were nice. So we've got more here. I wondered if they had more. And these are both the same flavours, but one's sour and one's normal. Lime, berry and strawberry. Gummies and sour gummies. What do you think you'll prefer now? Sour gummies. Have a feeling I might be the same. What funny, like, it's the O, isn't it? God, I can smell them. Yeah, it's like an open O. Yeah. So lime, blueberry, oh, and strawberry. Berry blue. That smells like lime. Well, quite a good texture. Nice texture. But I just feel like I was so excited for these jello mm. sweets. I just don't think they've done that good of a job. Well, I don't know how much these cost, but they just seem quite cheap. They do, In don't their they? flavour. And I feel like Jello, see, it says Jello trademarks are owned by Kraft Food, but these uh, these Morris. seem like they're made by someone else. So I wonder if they've just like licensed their name. To made these in Brazil. Sweets. If I'd have seen those in the shops when we were there, yeah. I would have probably ended up buying. Oh, they look really different. Yeah. I probably would have thing. ended up buying like every product that they had. You think? Because Jello's such like a big brand, yeah. you'd think, oh yeah, the gummies are going to be amazing. But really, they've been quite disappointing, really. I really like They're those little sour. chocolate pudding ones. Mm. But again, that was still kind of like in a cheap way. There was just something nice about them there. So they're much more sour than the mm. um, the little raspberry really belts. Mm. These are much better. Mm. Isn't it crazy just putting a bit of sourness? Makes them better. Well, look, they're better as well because they're like... Yeah, actually, actually hold their Because they've been joined at the back. Whereas they're all loose. They're good, but like they're not amazing. I'd probably give the sour ones like maybe seven and a half, but like the other ones are just like a five, I think. I think it'd really depend on their price. I think they're about a seven. They're like, yeah. they're middle of the road. Yeah. The only reason maybe why I gave them a little bit more was because the sour was actually quite good. Yeah. But like those other ones are just like a five. They're well, really not Maybe a seven for the sour and a six for the wild yeah. sour. Would you like a crystal light? Yeah, let's do it. So we've got two flavors. We've got wild strawberry and we've got cherry, cherry pomegranate. pomegranate. Oh, exciting. Cherry pomegranate though. Mm. Hopefully the pomegranate's quite strong. Whoa, that looks like blood. Yeah, been a murder. Been a murder. So that's pretty a rich, dark, intense mm-hmm. flavor. That's a nice colour. Much lighter. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. This one's nice. It kind of tastes sour. Better than I thought it was going to be. That wild strawberry's lovely. Ooh, yeah. It's like a sweet. Oh, that is better than I thought, too. I think the pomegranate is quite strong. That's lovely. Almost reminds me of a strawberry chupa chup. Oh, I just got brain freeze from ice cubes. Oh. I've never had that before. It does taste like a strawberry chapa chap. Yeah, it? that's really good. Really great flavour. Mm. That's definitely like a sweet. Mm. Yeah, the strawberry chapa chap. Brooke, as we're having a little break, actually yeah. bought us both a little pocket alarm. A little prezzy. There you go. So it's got... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't warn me! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Second video Sorry, where you've been a nightmare. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I'm not in the eye. <laughs> what are you like? How's, how's the lighting? The how's the lighting? Music makes me lose control. Music makes me lose control. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry for anyone who's not into strobe oh. lighting. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yeah, the alarm. The alarm, yeah. Which are they so kindly. I wonder if that's because Brooke heard on TikTok, because I feel like it was going around that, like, British people aren't allowed to carry anything for self-defence. Yeah. This is quite good because I really wish we could do pepper spray here. Why can't we? What are you giving that drink, actually? I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's probably one of the best crystal lights we've had. Yeah, it's great. Uh, and then the mar- nothing stopping that margarita though. I That's think the margarita is still number one. Um, and then this was good, um, better than I was expecting, but it's probably just like a, a seven, eight. eight. Yeah. That's ten. Fantastic. We've got something here which is new. It's a smorrels, delicious marshmallow and graham in chocolatey coating. 
No campfire needed. I mean this with all the respect I can muster, but it looks like the package for this was designed <laughs> in Microsoft Paint. <laughs> yeah. Possibly even The fact that it says new as well, like someone yeah. has branded this but now. But possibly even PowerPoint. So I don't know what brand this is, but it says introducing Doughlish, Do which is edible cookie dough ready to eat. I feel like- It's an all cookie dough edible there. No. Oh. I feel like, yeah, because some of it's got like egg yolk, egg, eggs. So when you get that cookie dough you eat, it it's, has to be special stuff. It, yeah, it's different to actual cookie dough. Um, but when you get the cookie dough that is to be cooked yeah. as a cookie, that's technically cookie dough. But then why do people cook the uh, Ben and Jerry's cookie dough? To see if it works. And does Most it? people, I think it does, but it's not like it's, the best it's cookie. Not like chips. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we saw this doughlish when we were in America, and like Possibly. in the pot, it was like 500 calories. I feel like I saw that. But this looks like a really old school brand. But it's new. But it's new. If I'm being truly honest, I don't have high hopes for this. Is that really what bad those, to say? What were those other little dough bites we had? Yeah, the birthday cookie yeah. dough. The chocolate doesn't smell very good. Oh <sighs> and I love how they're trying to pull on some people's like patriotic heartstrings and say made in the USA. Yeah. Well, like, it doesn't matter if it was made in the USA if it's terrible. Delicious marshmallow. There's no marshmallow in there. Oh, I don't like those. That's so overly sweet, isn't mm. it? It looks like chalky, it just falls apart in your mouth. And the aftertaste of that chocolate. Not good. It's weird because it's sweet, so it's not like. Ugh. Well, it is kind of it actually is. the aftertaste. Oh. The aftertaste is. Oh. But I'm not. I'm not trying to just. Oh look, we could go on their Facebook.com cookie dough bites www.candyasap.com they've got two websites how weird candyasap.com and cookiedoughbites.com and they've got facebook and a twitter although it's x now isn't it dough bites that is mm, i think I that's like... one of the worst things we've ever tried yeah i think it could be too they're not very good now let's try these which we have had mambo before mambo. oh no i'm sorry mamba Mamba. And I'm pretty sure it was Amy Williams who sent us Mamba for the first Mamba time. Mamba number five. But these are a limited edition. Fun Park. We've got raspberry popcorn, strawberry cotton candy, candy apple, and blueberry slushy. These sound fantastic. Fun Park edition. How interesting. These sound oh, really good. I love stalk. the stripe. That's the makers oh, of where there's original. original. Yeah. I love like the stripes at the end. Yeah, it that's really fun. give them like fun fair. Yeah. I really hope these are good. Well, we've had um, strawberry watermelon popcorn, but I've never had raspberry popcorn. So yeah, raspberry cotton candy. No, cotton candy. Oh no, yeah, it said strawberry popcorn, didn't it? Sorry. Strawberry popcorn. Oh, hold on. We've got two strawberry cotton candies there. So we're we not going to have one of everything then. Oh, uh, the one what? you wanted. What? Why I'm put sorry. all the flavours on the front if that you don't must get be, them? That must be a mistake because we've got one of everything apart from one. And it's like you've explained the flavours. That's Blueberry such a shame. slushy then, I think. That's like more frustrating than when we get those packets where you get like one of one flavour. Yeah. 50 like of the ones Like they've missed out a want. whole pack. Yeah. I'm going for strawberry cotton candy. I'm going for blueberry slushy. Good texture. Really. Mmm. That's very brushy. That is not overly sweet. It says natural mm. and artificial. <laughs> I love the long pause. It says natural <laughs> and artificial <laughs> flavors. That's nice, actually. I think you'll like that. That's strawberry cotton candy, like a really pale. Mmm. Mm. What's that like? I don't like when we used to have fruitella. We have had something that tastes just like that. Mm. Very really mellow, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I thought the cotton candy would just like make it sweet. Mm. It not really taste cotton candy, mm. but it's good, isn't it? I thought it was going to be like overly sweet. Mm. Are you going with mm, nice. the cotton candy or the blue raspberry? I think the blueberry, you know? Yeah, blueberry slush is my mm. favourite. I think those are fun flavours there. Especially the raspberry popcorn. Yeah, that's the best one. It's so fun, it couldn't spare the time <laughs> to be here. <laughs> so I would say blueberry was my favorite one and I'd give that like a solid eight out of 10. I think I'd give them a solid nine out of 10. Yeah, maybe I the really blueberry's like nine. The, the texture and the kind of creaminess of them. Yeah. And the flavor was nice. Yeah. Like you said, it was natural 
and artificial flavors. But it did taste quite natural, it didn't did. it? It did. Natural, it was soft chew, not too hard. So they're really good. Yeah, maybe nine for the blue slushy and then eight for those. Good call. Really enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, I just thought we'd get into the treat of the we week, you know. Well. I think my treat of the week has to be these. They're so good. It's very close to it being, oh, the drink. Is that what you're going for? I'm going for these, but oh, like, these. I do think this. And it is close to the Oreos, and I haven't had an Oreo for so long, but this, the texture of this and the flavor the of this is flavor. just so lovely. And that drink is incredible. That drink is so amazing, but I think this is just clipping it to the post. We also love the favorite day yeah. Target brand. So this is my treat of the week yeah. as well. Anyway, Brooke, thank you so much for that delicious box. We will be sending you some British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try one of our boxes, we'll leave a link down below. And if you check out our website, there's loads of delicious British goodies on there for you to try. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.